Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So here's the latest update about the Alberta Advantage Immigration Program, AAIP. Okay, so uh, in this video, I'm going to share something that I just realized today, okay, about Alberta PNP program, and I had not shared it in my earlier videos because I didn't know about it, okay? So I'll share that as well. Uh, so make sure you stick around till the end, just like all the other YouTubers say. So Alberta just shared their um, nomination figures, their processing times, and um, uh, the other details. Okay, so currently Alberta has issued 250, almost 250 nominations in two weeks. The last video I made about Alberta's updates was on October 13th and on October 25th, in almost 13 days, they have issued almost 250 nominations and we know that the express entry draw that we just saw that express entry draw had people above 600 in numbers so we can assume that there were uh, pnp nominations given out in numbers and 250 nominations were issued by alberta alone okay but that is all uh, that is not only for the express entry stream but it was also for the alberta opportunity stream which is for the people who are in alberta uh, on a job offer okay so uh, if we talk about the total nominations if in case you didn't know alberta was allotted 6500 nominations for the year 2022 and they have already issued 5500 uh, some number uh, above 5500 so uh, almost 1000 more nominations are uh, yet to be given by alberta in these two months and five days if we look at their backlog situation you'd be able to see on the screenshot almost 1000 plus people are in the are in the backlog of the alberta opportunity stream and 270 people are in the backlog of alberta express entry stream okay so that makes around 1300 people uh, who are yet to be nominated by alberta okay so their remaining nomination quota is only 1000 okay so uh, after november 16th if alberta issues a draw and people submit their application in a month or a two months uh, duration then alberta will process their application let's say in four months or three months so that nomination will be considered for the year 2023 as of now, if Alberta conducts a draw, the nomination will fall in 2023 nomination quota. So, I mean, this is not the reason why Alberta is not holding any draws right now, because if they were to conduct a draw today, the nomination will be considered in 2023, not for the 2022. Okay. And for 2022, they are secured because they have 1000 remaining nominations and the backlog is more than that backlog is almost 1500 nominations now uh, let's talk about the next point um, about uh, something that i did not know so in this screenshot you'll see the data from october 13th that was almost two weeks ago um, in this figure you are seeing that there was a backlog of 260 uh, applications in the alberta express entry stream okay but uh, and also you know that last alberta draw was in july july 29th probably and there was no draw after that so the number of uh, processed applications should be less than 260 right you agree with me because we know that alberta issued 250 nominations in 15 days alone okay so the data should be less than 260 but if you see this scr screenshot this is the latest one october 25th and in this screenshot, Alberta Express Entry Stream has a backlog of 270 people. So if they didn't conduct a draw and if they issued nominations, then how come 10 people are added in this Express Entry backlog? So there are only two possibilities. One possibility is that Alberta committed a mistake, but that is unlikely. So the second possibility is, as you can see on this screenshot, that Alberta says, that uh, the applications received after notification of interest like if somebody gets an ita from alberta and they submit their application they do not consider it as an application they consider it as an expression of interest okay uh, so um, it means that after two months or three months 
uh, when uh, pe people have submitted their applications now alberta assigns it to a case officer meaning acknowledgement of receipt although uh, alberta does not notify the person that okay now we have started working on your application now we have assigned a case officer for your application alberta does not notify that but it means that the aor acknowledgement of receipt is after some time it is not right away for the alberta express entry stream so it means that there were more than 10 people who um, received whose whose applications were assigned to certain case officers so this is how alberta works for example uh, oinp they consider your application right from the day you submit your application but alberta does not consider your application in fact they consider your application in their backlog once a case officer is assigned to your application okay so this is something this is a similar thing that we see for sinp oid the occupation in demand category of sinp we see a similar thing and also in uh, saskatchewan's other uh, pathways that are not linked with express entry we see um, the aor is received after a few uh, months okay four months five months six months and in one case my subscriber told me it's been 11 months and he uh, has not yet received an acknowledgement of receipt from saskatchewan so alberta is somewhat similar to that and that aor is given after some time so i hope that this information will be new for you as well as it was new for me because I thought that Alberta works like OINP but no turns out they are more similar to SINP in this AOR acknowledgement of receipt scenario okay so July 29th was the last draw and the next draw could be anytime see if they issue this uh, draw right now it will only cater to the 2023 nomination allocation quota okay no worries at all for Alberta but their website says that NOC 2021 is going to be implemented and in a couple of weeks, in the upcoming weeks, they will uh, inform how NOC 2021 is going to affect AAIP. Currently, there is no information available. So with this news, this is very hard and I'm hoping great things are coming your way.